All right, something kind of interesting is happening again, um, and so I thought I would create a quick video just to show you. If you are, are in the U.S., this will be something um, kind of new. I, I expect to be in the news cycle soon, weather-related. Um, if you are in Europe, you've probably uh, experienced some of this already uh, in uh, things like orange snow you might have heard about and things like that uh, as far north as well, northern Europe. Uh, so this t the topic of this is the uh, the sands of the Sahara and how they're blowing around. Um, just personally, I think it's interesting because of the uh, ironic nature of it, since we just noticed that Mars, uh, in an inexplicable reason or in a, an inexplicable way, uh, has been completely shrouded in a dust storm, the entire planet. And we've never seen that before. And so I thought it's an interesting thing that um, I call it uh, cosmic coincidence, but we have a, a really interesting pattern set up that's creating a giant dust storm on our planet. So let's talk about this. First of all, uh, there's a couple things you have to understand. Uh, if you have followed my channel at all uh, over the past months, there was a point back in the winter, I believe it was around December, where, let me turn on animation here, where I created a video about the Arctic vortex splitting. And uh, this, if you can kind of see it there, is uh, we're getting it back, the Arctic vortex. Now, it's very, very, very weak. <clears throat> and in fact, until this week, it was pretty much non-existent. We had a couple little kind of faint uh, wind sort of oscillations and, and, and so forth going on, but we didn't have an actual uh, vortex anywhere near the pole. And so I don't know how stable this is. I don't know if this is just an anomaly that it happens to be close to the pole, but at least there is one now. Uh, for context, because unless you follow this stuff, it doesn't, you know, you don't know what extreme is. When I say extreme slow, I'm going to flip the earth over. Ready? Bum, bum. All right, this is the Antarctic vortex. Okay, so um, this is what it should look like, at least something like this, maybe not quite this strong, because the vortex can get stronger in the winter, which is what it is on the South Pole right now. But um, even in the middle of summer, you should see something like this, not quite as fast, but very much like this. Okay, it's not always exactly on the pole, but you can see this is pretty centered, and it creates the weather pattern that controls the jet stream and so forth. Uh, this is uh, very, very thin air. We're way up in the atmosphere, by the way. Uh, and so it's very thin air, but this is the air that controls our jet stream, which controls our clouds, which of course produce our weather, okay? So in the Northern Hemisphere, it's not here. And what's interesting to point out is how low uh, the band is. And so when you, you come down here, you do see some wind speed but it's not supposed to be this close to the equator at all. And you notice we've got some high speed this close to the equator, which if you look in the southern hemisphere, you can see it, it's, it's too low. So, uh, you know, is this a problem? Ah, oh, yeah, it's just a, I, I don't know what's causing it, but uh, it just is what it is, right? We just had this high speed air high in our atmosphere moving over Africa. Um, with, with a lot of power, okay? Now, uh, if I come down to, say, jet stream, uh, kind of height above the surface, then we can see that stream is still coming across. A little more confusing here, so kind of work with me. Uh, our jet stream is very lethargic, lazy, it's meandering, and look at this, it just curves down south, and so forth, it loops around, and then it hooks right in and connects with the wind that's coming across the equator. So we have cold air mixing with warm air, and that gives you, of course, a storm. Uh, right over the Sahara, excuse me, right over the Sahara Desert, pushing right out over the Atlantic. All right, so let's talk about, I'm gonna shift gears for a second, okay? Hold that thought. Uh, that's an anomaly, a giant windstorm over the Sahara Desert of course, is going to kick up a lot of dust and sand into the atmosphere. All right, what should we be seeing? Right now, we are in uh, hurricane season uh, for the Atlantic, northern hemisphere. 
and uh, ordinarily the pattern that we see comes across here's the jet stream way too high uh, uh, way, no, way higher than normal okay I'll put it like that and instead of coming down normally it hits the coast of Africa and comes down it mixes with a slow warm air and you get storms that spin up over here that we eventually call hurricanes as they push across the ocean into the Caribbean if you remember you know they went over Puerto Rico last year they always come up in here and we wonder are they going to go up our coast because the circulation connects here and comes back around again so it's a big oscillation or, or kind of a wind circulation in the northern hemisphere over the Atlantic Ocean and that's what gives us our hurricanes during hurricane season well I can describe it but I can't show it to you because it's not really here is it um, we've had a couple of tiny little odd storms but uh, this is not a normal hurricane season um, and if anything does come over it's gonna push right up here into the Gulf uh, the, the, the winds seem to be staying very very far north and not really curling back up to hit the uh, the jet stream at this point okay so that's topic number two and that sets up the stage for what I'm about to show you and that is the incredible amount of dust that's being not only picked up in the Sahara but carried all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to the United States and this is something a lot of people are saying they've never seen before now I personally have only been tracking this for a couple of years so of course it doesn't mean as much when I say I've never seen it before but um, you may hear about this as an interesting phenomena because we're gonna see some interest you know beautiful sunsets uh, we're gonna see some kind of reddish clouds uh, a lot of what Europe has been seeing uh, as the storm has been in the past coming across the Sahara and pushing up over Europe and sending the sand way north and producing these phenomena like orange snow okay sand in the snow and so forth okay so let's move um, down one more level we'll look at our cloud altitude so this is about the height off the earth's surface where we see clouds we can see this uh, little tropical storm that pushed right up I think it's called Chris or something like that um, no harm no foul but you can see again even at our clouds are coming off of Africa and continuing straight across and up kind of into the Gulf of Mexico or below Central America all right let's switch over something I haven't really shown on this channel but it's not usually as interesting particulates so this is like dust particles and you can see it look at it so what did I say we've got the uh, jet stream coming down very rapidly you can see it kicking up some storm in here just from the cold air meeting with the warmer air we got warm air coming across the equator at a, an unusual speed and it's creating these giant storms that are you can see this one kind of pushing out poof you can see this one pushing out see the curl poof out there and then over here look at this guy so we have got wind and sand from the Sahara blowing straight over and coming up into the Gulf of Mexico in the next day or so um, and then we're going to see it push up here. You're going to see Texas, Mississippi, you know, Arkansas, et cetera, are going to start seeing some of these sandy effects uh, as it catches and then pushes eventually back up into the northeast. But um, it's a really interesting, significant event. Uh, it's a lot of dust and sand moving our way. I'll turn off the animation. Now you can see it more clearly uh, how this sandstorm is actually pushing all the way across the Atlantic Ocean and curling uh, up and eventually up into the Gulf and across the United East uh, I'm sorry across the East Coast United States and part of the Midwest so interesting enough just thought I'd share it have a great day